We are working on a 2007 Toyota Corolla. This car has a bad air conditioner. The reason the air conditioner went bad is not itself. Instead, we removed the dashboard and the heater, the heater and the air conditioner core for the cleaning. So for this purpose, the air conditioner refrigerant we already leaked and uh, now we are going to fill the system once again with a new refrigerant and we will detect the leakage also of course so here is the procedure how to do it to fill the air conditioner for this car or for any car we need some equipment that is of course the gauges and uh, the filling gauges and of course one pump for the pump you can watch my other video I showed it in detail and I will give you the link also for this pump how to make it and of course the Freon which is uh, refrigerant which is R134 for this car and uh, there are two ports one is level as H we have to remove this cap from and keep it inside the other one is labeled as low H denotes high whereas the L denotes low so we have to remove these both caps keep them inside and here on the gauges as sometimes the colors are the same as in my case I just uh, swept these uh, pipes these hoses so this one which is on the low port this is the low port actually on the low port the, the knob color is blue of course and uh, this is red red is high and blue is low so this one we have to fix on low and even if we try to fix it over here on the high it will not it will not fix so this is the difference the low one is smaller so we will have to fix it over there on low by this way this is an easy quick fix what is known as and the other is this high side the high side is having also the same quick fix and this is red you can see so this will go to high here so by this way now what we have to do is we have to fill the system with, spray with pressurized air or whatsoever is available the nitrogen but not nitrogen is not available with me so I'm going to fix uh, I'm going to fill the system with the uh, compressed air and compre compressed air of course I will provide from my uh, home made uh, uh, die compressor so now as you can see I just fix on the compression side this line because I am going to fill air in the system and on the low port I will fill it but for this purpose I have to uh, switch on my com compressor and for this purpose I have to put my finger on the suction side so that it will not suck too much instead it should do and now as you can listen the sound the compressor is switched on and what I have to do is I have to fill it uh, with the air I have to show you on camera so the air is filled in in the system and on the low side you can see it is exceeding up to 120 psi and on the high side the same pressure is showing so we will go up to 200 psi something like that to check the leak for leak of the system so the air is filling in you can see so somewhat up to 200 psi it's okay it's a good pressure for and over here we will stop the pump and will maintain this pressure in the system So here you can see somewhat 210 psi or uh, yeah 205 psi something like that I'm maintaining it for half an hour or something so that I will know there should be no leak in the system that will create any problem problem in future so I will show you afterwards 
so here is what one hour has been passed and you can see the pressure is on the same it sustained on the same point 205 psi something like that so it's okay it seems good uh, there is no leakage in the system probably we are we are expecting for that and now what we are going to do is we have to evacuate the system and we have to vacuum the system so for this purpose what we will have to do is we will run the same pump in reverse direction we will vacuum the system or we evacuate the system by the way that we will have to remove each and everything from all the air we will suck and we will create a vacuum in the system in the air conditioning system so it will be a deep deep vacuum it will take a little time and will be done so for this purpose what i have to do is i have to remove this uh, compression port from the compression port i have to remove the manifold gauge central point and i have to fix on the suction this is of course my suction on my vacuum pump or the service pump so here it is fixed and this will this one will be empty as it is so what i have to do is on this point i have to start my compressor So now the compressor had been started, it is, what it is doing is, it's not vacuuming yet, instead it had been vacuumed up to here. So while I will open these two knobs, so then the vacuum, have, the, the, this pressure will be released in and vacuum will be created in the system. So slowly, I will release the pressure slowly, so that the compressor will not get much load uh, the vacuum pump will not get much load like this so now it's totally opened you can see and the other one the other port also I have to open so that the system will be evacuated from the both sides but what I will see is I will see over here as now this is my zero point zero is over here this is minus 10 minus 20 and minus 30 this red color marking are actually minus so I will go up to maximum vacuum whatsoever we will be able to do that will be something uh, minus 25 and uh, at the moment it is touching minus 25 you can see but for some instant I will run the pump so that the whole thing will be vacuumed Yeah, the day-night guy is doing something else with the car you can see he's just going for the back of the car and what he's doing I don't know really <laughs> so it's minus 26 something like that afterwards it will not be vacuumed anymore the reason is there will be nothing in inside the system as you can see now it's enough vacuumed it's something about 27 minus 27 psi so what we have to do is uh, it's deep vacuumed so we have to close these knobs both knobs I have to close shut them and then afterwards I will have to remove the power from the for the vacuum pump I have to fill the system with Freon so here is my Freon cylinder I have to remove this one the central port of the manifold from there and we'll put it over here on the Freon cylinder I have to show you by the way so this vacuum which I created I will break down with a Freon gas so by this way and I have to open of course this and over here I have to leak it a little bit so that I will purge this line from here so now it's purged and I have to tight it and then on the low port I have to open to fill it in the car the vacuum I break down with the help of Freon so I'm going to fill the Freon in the vacuumed car the evacuated air conditioner I am filling the Freon so now you can see about 
90 psi had been filled and, and this is actually the empty cylinder I have to block it and put my other cylinder which is of course here the same way I have to do and open this knob the same process I will do once again to purge the line so I purged it now I have to fill in fill in more the freon something up to 140 psi will be enough so as you can see something up to 120 or 100 yeah 120 it had been filled uh, start the car please now we are going to start the car and we'll fill the air conditioner with the freon while we will switch on the air conditioner start and uh, switch on the air conditioner also start it with the low start with the low speed okay so you can see it had been dropped down while the air conditioner had been switched on so now we are going to fill more because this is something low side is showing uh, whatsoever this uh, less than 20 psi it should come somewhere 40 to 45 psi then it will give co cooling you will fill in fill the system not at once but with a success, successive gaps with intervals I will have to fill in the freon so now it's close enough yeah I'm feeling a little bit cooling so it is close enough to cooling so this is the point where we will take care as you can see on the high side it is showing something 170 uh, something like that and low side is 40 so I will fill in more and now yeah I'm feeling cooling but it is not enough cool so I have to fill little more more and even more so I'm feeling over here you can see uh, I'm feeling over here you can see this is the line where I'm feeling this is the hot line and this is the cold line of course from the cold line I'm feeling whether it is cooling or not so it needs little more refrigerant I will fill in how much it needs I will fill in up to my satisfactory cooling so now it's way better good cooling is there little more we will have to fill in to something 45 psi you can get uh, you can see on the gauge and here of course we are going up to 200 psi of pressure to normal so sometimes it is reducing with the engine speed also yeah now it's well cooling well cooling it's good enough feel the cooling check the cooling please so it's cooling now we can see and good enough you can see now the compressor has been unloaded switched off and again switched on so compressor is cycling it's okay so this was what was our air conditioner refill for this Toyota Corolla 2006 and here is the owner of course the day and night owner you can see and he is checking he is, he is looking day and night for the cooling something like that at the stinky owner and uh, whatsoever he had some problem also <laughs> he is unhappy with me <laughs> thank you for watching keep on watching <laughs>